Welcome back to Rolling Loud live stream day three. I'm here with my girl Scotty, who just got off stage at Rolling Loud. And if y'all are paying attention and y'all remember, we ha we spoke with Scotty in New York. Yes. You know, she killed it there. She killed it here. So now we back. How you feeling, Scotty? Hot. <laughs> That was the one thing about New York. We were all saying how cold it was, and now it was nice. Beautiful. I like that though. Like I, you know what? I'm gonna just have all my concerts in the winter time in New York, cause obviously, cause it's it's better to perform in the cold, personally. Why? Why do you think that? Because like even if you get hot while you're on stage, like you're never really hot. Uh, you know what I mean? When it's hot good. outside. That adrenaline okay. rushing and everything too. Exactly. Yeah, I guess you don't feel it when it's like adrenaline, you know. Exactly. Yeah, but I mean, you dress appropriately for the weather, flower child, beautiful <laughs> child. Tell me about this outfit. Um, so this is a uh, design collaboration with Countess again, the same person who did the last fit. And this one, we came up with this one. Actually, it's from the horror movie Midsommar. Oh, inspired. I've seen that movie. Yeah. I've see okay, I see it. So I wanted wow. to do something very colorful, but like still like the inspo is from like a horror movie. So yeah, it's like yeah, still yeah, kind of yeah. like dark. Still get scared from horror movies because I feel like it's too predictable for me these days. <laughs> no, actually I enjoy horror movies a lot. And like I like theories and like actually looking into horror movies a lot. So like I don't really get scared. I usually watch it for like cinematic purposes, okay. if that makes sense. So well, yeah. M. Night Shyamalan is fucking amazing, man. I have not seen that movie. I know that's a very big uh, one, bro. but I have not seen that he's, one. He's the director, but like he, oh. his movies are just crazy. Well, that's why I've heard of that name. I'm like, yeah. no. no. His movies are just trippy, though. They're, the, they're like the ones that make so what, what movie did he make then? He just did the one, um, was it Time or like Age? Or what? I forgot the name. Um, of He like did Glass Man or what's the one? I, I don't even remember the name. I can't. It's not off I, my I'm, head. It's blank. Glass Man. I, uh, I don't know. Um, Got me out here <laughs> not knowing. Anyway. <laughs> Well, why does that sound like a movie name? Why does uh, he have a I movie mean, name for his name? Hey. It's always like M. Night Shyamalan. By M. Night Shyamalan, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like Stephen King movies and like, um, I like Jordan Peele a lot. Yeah. He's hard. Oh. Alfred Hitchcock is hard. Yeah. I don't know. I like classic shits. Um, who else? That's dope that you pull inspiration from movies, though. I'm curious to know about your inspirations that you pull in the music world, you know? Your sound yeah. is very different and unique. Let's talk about, you know, your music. What's new since we last spoke? Tell well, me before the year is out, I should be dropping a song. So that's great. OK. We're going to get a new song December, this time. Is it going to be like Christmas vibes, holiday vibes? No. OK. It has nothing to do with the holidays. <laughs> but. It's gonna be fine. I like it though. So it's great. I can't wait to share it with you guys. So I don't wanna give y'all too much. Yeah, just what, tune in. What's, um, what's from your New Year's resolution? What are some of your goals for the new year? Um, New Year's resolution. I was actually talking about that recently. What did I wanted to do? Um, I think I was talk I was just talking to my boyfriend about this. I think it was like um try to be able to go on tour. Yes, I want to be able to go on tour next year. Would you want to open up for somebody who artist would you you think you'd work really well with on tour? Um I think maybe you and Rico Nasty would go crazy together. Maybe uh, yeah, Rico. Maybe Rico. Um uh, I would love to do a tour with like Baby Keem or like Don Tolliver. Or like Don Tolliver will be performing here yes. later on. Are you gonna stay yes. around and watch the set? Yes, probably. <laughs> this Definitely. set is super dope. I really love He's a great uh, performer stage design too. and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there any artist that you look to as far as um, inspiration when it comes to performing or your music or any of that nature? Um, I would say Tyler Creator, Travis Scott, Kanye. Like, just I love the production value that they put. And yeah. then on top of that, it's a very like energetic performance yeah. as well so it's just like everything about it is great how do you go into like preparing for a performance like is there anything you have to do before you go on stage um honestly oh right, there's a bee no bees I'm allergic what? to bees oh no you allergic okay. Pro it's protect okay. her at all costs it's gone it's gone Oh no, that shit's still there. Okay. I got you, girl. It's gone. I'll fight that bee right okay, now. I'm just making sure I'm not getting I'll, stung. I don't yeah, want to go to the I'll squabble that bee right I'm now for her. I'm so say I won't. Like I'm literally <laughs> allergic. So I'm like, no. It's the flowers on your <laughs> on your outfit. I wouldn't let that bee do that to you. I'll fight him right now. Real flowers? No. Okay. I'm also allergic to flowers. How ironic. 
Really? Yeah. That's probably why the bee came over here, because you got them flowers. He's like, I'm going home. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> he, he went home. <laughs> well, I didn't even think about that. So That's just crazy. now. That, you know what? Never flowers. Never flowers Can't be allergic anymore. to bees rocking flowers now. <laughs> Being allergic to flowers at Being the same time. To flowers too and bees. Wait, yeah. you allergic to flowers? I have a lot of allergies. It's really weird. Like I'm allergic to cats and like certain, a lot of foods. And you allergic to gluten? Why did gluten just pop up like this? Why did the no <laughs> fun? Like what the hell? I was a kid and I never heard of gluten. I turned twenty something years old. And niggas like you. You still eating gluten, bro? You weird. Like, what is gluten, bro? What is gluten? Like I don't know. I feel like all of us are allergic to everything that America makes. To be honest. To be honest, it's the GMO. You no, know, you know, it's all those chemicals and stuff. <laughs> oh God, man. I'm tired of this gluten shit. I, I want to eat gluten, but I heard it's bad for me. 2022? <laughs> hey, gluten, gluten we don't bad. drink milk, though. We've we've moved past that shit. Oh, yeah. like Almond milk lactate. is the only thing. I, I drink lactate, personally. The oh, lactose yeah. intolerant milk, it tastes oh. the same, but it's just like no lactose in it. So oh, it's OK. I, I got to try it. I got to yeah. try that. All right. Well, dope. Is there anything else that we should be on the lookout for you from for the end of this year or for 2022 before we wrap? Um. Oh, well, if you guys are in South Florida, I'm going to be having a show on the 18th at the Den in Pompano Beach. Um, okay. That's going to be, wait, yeah, like next Saturday, oh, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, next week. Yeah, it's a free show. It's for the Den. It's a local uh, boutique and everything. So they're going to have hey. like a big show. Mikey Moore um, is going to be there as well. So if you're in the area, pull up. That's Man, y'all go check her show out for show and go yeah. support. I cannot wait. I'm excited for you. Thank you so much, Scotty, for coming by. We'll have to catch you next time. If you're Thank tuning you. in. Make sure y'all stay tuned in. We got more for y'all coming up.